Cambridge University Library was established over 500 years ago and contains more than 8 million books. Its current incarnation was built by the same architect that designed the iconic red telephone box. The text contained on all those pages is roughly 10,000 gigabytes of information, which modern technology could store in a box the size of a deck of cards. That said, it's estimated that the human brain can store 2 billion gigabytes of information, so I decided to put mine to the test. For one week, I've been studying the books in the King's Room, one of a series of rare collections rooms which contain treasures including a copy of the Gutenberg Bible, the rich archive of Charles Darwin's letters and the works of Isaac Newton. Mnemonics is the technique I have used to memorize this enormous quantity of information. Each page can be represented by an image and each entire book by a group of images that together form a complete picture. Once you have the final picture, you can decode it to retrieve the whole book. It's like Russian dolls, where the big one contains all the others. I'm here in the King's Room with Robert Foster and Bosco Yu. Robert and Bosco, it's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bosco, how many books would you say there are in this room, roughly? Mm, roughly, I guess a thousand. Actually, there are 5,000 books in that room. Each one contains around 200,000 words. So that gives a total of about 1 billion words. Robert, could you please choose a few books from this room? Sure, from anywhere? Anything at all. Table. Thank you. Place them on the table, yes. Now, Bosco, can you please choose a page from one of these books? Anyone? Whichever you prefer. Sure. Uh, I made up my mind. So. Uh, Remember that page, but don't show it to me. Huh? Now, can you please pick a sentence from that page? Don't tell me that sentence. Just mm. give me three or four words before and after it. Okay, I pick one. Uh, the young fellow was a little surprised. Now, can you please close the book and place it on my hand? Oh. Young fellow, little surprised. Your sentence is returning with the double mug of strong beer. That's right. You have seen the science, and now for something not so easy to explain. Can you open the book to your page? Again, please. <laughs> your page has vanished. It's a bit smoky in here. Robert, could you please open the window? Whoa, she traveled here. You see this? Can you bring that over? That's the power of visualization. As you can see, the pages match. 
here you are what how did you do that That's just got stuck together same that page can't be real I know that's crazy. I'm impressed. It's very, very cool.